right. I'm at the hoe in Plymouth. I gotta tell you, there's some weird names here in Plymouth. The one, this one, the hoe. Oh. Some toilets handy and then there's um, Egg Buckland and there's an area called Mutley and there's a roundabout called Penny Come Quick <laughs> keeps me entertained so far, it's an expensive day. Oh my goodness. We've got a little tent city with their washing. All buggers. I didn't even realise it from right over there. So two pound twenty to park for an hour. So I'm just gonna make this a quick visit. Fifty P to go to the toilet and you've got to pay by card. But I have a squat in the bushes. I still can't get over we've got a little tent city here. Anyway, let's go and do some tourist things. We've only got two hours in Plymouth, yeah. It's got these Lincoln two hour lessons and then three times a week. We've got a lighthouse, in case you didn't know what that was. <laughs> oh, that's quite nice up here. I haven't been this far up. I remember a couple of years ago I came up from the bottom but I didn't come this far up. I'm not sure what all those buildings are. Lots of memorials. I'll just go and have a look at them in a minute. Nice view out to see from up here, isn't it? I'm guessing way over there. Might not be, but it's be if it's not that point, a bit further on be Mount Batten. windy up here. You probably know that because you can probably hear it. <laughs> I've got me thermos of tea so I shall park myself down and have a drink of tea and make, keep an eye on the bloody time. Don't know what I'm going to do for the next hour. Park. I've got to get some petrol. Uh, 
uh, for the war, Second World War, Says he blew with his winds and they were scattered. This foundation stone memorial was laid and it's all worn off. Oh, we've got loads of them over here, haven't we? What's this one for? HRA, oh, HRA, HRH, the Princess Royal Master Corporation of Trinity House. I was unveiled by. Sorry. I could have put the actual dedication in better writing. This one dedicated to those men and women who served in or have served in the British Merchant Navy. Huh. Our father was in the British Merchant Navy. Yeah, I think he joined it just, it was just after the war. He was too young to be in the war. So I do a dodge uh, mines in the ocean. He used to go down and go through the Panama Canal and things like that. This is for the two wars, by the looks of it, 1914 to 1918, and 1939 to 1945. And right up there, it's got a little dome on it. Anyway, I shall have a seat here, I think. Information board.
a little timeline there for you of course we learnt those kind of things when I was in school it's a nice seat here anyway I shall stop and have a little cup of tea and probably then head back to the car now it's friggin raining Tuesday first stop after dropping sun off is to find a toilet and Morrison's are pretty good for that so that's where I'm going right it's Tuesday now I'm usually in Plumber for four hours on Tuesday, but um, this week it's only two because one of the tutors is off ill. Anyway, so we come in at one o'clock for one o'clock. So I've been to Morrison's, done my business, picked up a few bits, and now it's about ten past one. So at some point I'm going to have my lunch. I'm not sure where I'm going to park for that. The weather's windy and wet, so mainly just windy at the moment, but no doubt there will be showers coming, so it's not a particularly nice day to go and sit out anywhere. Um, I want to, I don't know if I'll go today. I need to get some more fuel, like. I forgot to have a look on us and Morrison's if they had any methylated spirits. Um, yeah, last time I think I went to B and Q, they didn't have the biofuel. Um, I mean, I could get it up, up when I was up in Halifax, but uh, I mean, it was a pretty big B and Q as well but I'll be kept, got to time it well because they don't have customer toilets there <laughs> my life revolves around where there are toilets <laughs> um, yeah so anyway yes yeah, so I've got to time that right so that um, I don't end up wanting busting when I get there um, but I have looked there once before and I got that liquid stuff from Go Outdoors, Fire Dragon liquid and stuff and quite frankly I think it burns a lot faster I go through, I've gone through that quite fast so I'm not keen on that one not for the cost of it, I think it was like £7 a bottle and it's only a, you know, well, a smallish bottle compared to I think you get when you get that biofuel from B and Q if you can get it it comes in a, I think it's a, it's a lot bigger anyway for about the same price um so other than that I thought I'll pick up some methylated spirits but I haven't been able to find any yet uh, it's uh I mean I thought Plymouth would be a lot better for this for this you know it's a city um i mean you can almost cross get trying to get hold of anything in cornwall all the shops are smaller and don't, don't have the great variety anyway so one of my dilemmas so i don't know what i'm going to do right now uh, trying to think of somewhere to go I could go and park but Jenny Cliff is right right over the other side I'm not going over there for an hour um, so I could do with somewhere over here um, where am I now on, a, on Outland Road that's right I'm too far. I'll go down to Mountbatten, not Mountbatten, 
Mutton Cove, another good name. Uh, I'll have my lunch down there and uh, just kill a bit of time, I think. I'm going to drive around all over the place trying to find stuff today. Not in the mood. Right. So, I didn't go down to Mutton Cove. It's another couple of miles from here. I've just come down to, I think it's Central Park. It's a big car park here. There's a park and there's a leisure centre. Uh, have my lunch, cup of tea. Don't know if you can tell, but it's. Uh, can you see that? It's been raining again. Uh, so I sit here, drink my tea, <sighs> look at me, um, social media. <laughs> And uh, that will be my Tuesday. Right, Friday today. <coughs> uh, let's see what happened. Oh, Wednesday. I didn't do much because he lesson was only an hour long, so. There's very little for me to do in that time. Obviously Thursday I don't go and come in. Then I didn't do much Thursday because I had um, 24 hour ECG monitoring thing on me. So I had to leave it on till about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then take it back in. So. That was my Thursday, really. And today's Friday. What's the time? Just coming just before 10, but no hour. Just done the grocery shopping. And this is my exciting week in Plymouth. I mean, in a way, Particularly, I suppose, of winter coming up, these two hour slots aren't going to be too hard to fill. Whereas, if like I've got an all day one uh, and it would be rainy and windy or something like that, that was awful. A couple of times I, I drove back home and then came back out, but. Uh, Turns out quite expensive doing that. It's not just the extra petrol, you've got the extra cost of coming over the bridge. And it all adds up, doesn't it? Got a sharp bit of nail there. Anyway, I'm sure you needed to know that. But that's my exciting week in Plymouth. Oh, just one more thing, just to mark the day. We um, had frost on the windscreen this morning. I have to start remembering to cover the car up.